Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry the sound was probably really loud right there, but I did move my phone a different direction um, to have the microphone closer to me. Um, and I just realized, never mind, I'm totally off subject. Um, we're gonna start my shadow lane. So I'm gonna put a picture on the screen of the shadow lane that I'm starting because I don't think I can show you guys here because we are zoomed in. Um, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I don't know of how much I'm going to talk, but I did want to bring you on a like start my shadow lane with me. If I bump you a little bit, I apologize. I'm having a really hard time figuring out my setup here. I was considering getting like an arm, um, but I don't know where to put it. I the only thing I'd be able to do is attach it to my Lowry because I don't stitch at a desk. I stitch in a rocking chair, and I don't think I like that either. So. I don't know. I'm going to, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so we're going to start. I have, so I'm starting in a Q snap. Um, I put it in a scroll frame and then I was like, you know what? I don't need that much space uh, surrounding it because my scroll frame went up to like 23 inches. So it covered the entire project but my project is only going to be 18 by 18 this is an 11 by 11 q snap and i'm honestly thinking of just getting the longer q snap um this there's a 17 inch one and i think i'm gonna get that and i can pretty much do um the whole project in there and then move to the um the scroll frame for beading because um, Martina's notes recommend doing all the beading last and I know a lot of people normally do the beading as they go um, but I think I don't know I'm gonna see how I feel and see how it goes so we're gonna start this um, I have all of my cloth here pretty much ready to go all of my fancies and I went ahead and did this isn't all the DMC this is just the DMC I need for the center um, I went ahead and subbed the NPIs for DMC's because I saw a lot of people doing that and honestly I prefer um, to using the DMC over a silk um, I've never tried NPI before but I have um, used other silks like dinky dyes and stuff and I don't know I feel some kind of way about it and so um, I just got, I have all the fancy stuff and the beads which I don't have here I have them put away my center is marked that's exactly my center stitch and we are gonna get started and I took all my needles off okay let's see I'm really loving these John James needles that Amy sent me. She sent me a pack of 26 and a pack of 28, and I absolutely love them. Um, there's not a huge, huge difference between the 26s and the 28s. Uh, these ones are slightly thicker, um, <clears throat> but I do like the 28s better. I do actually, you know what, let me use a DMC. <clears throat> I do also really like the DMC needles. I have this whole thing full of DMC needles. I found like six brand new packages of DMC needles in my drawer the other day. Um, like, and I think that was six and a half, if I'm not mistaken, plus um, a couple of random John James, um, a pack of John James Easy Thread needles. And then I also found these other really cool gold ones. Do I have them here? I don't know it has a gold eye and it came in just like a little tiny little plastic thing by itself and they're amazing I hope you guys can hear me <clears throat> I don't know what I did with it it's not I have this little like thing that I got from black needle society that I keep all my little things in I don't know what I did with it but it's a freaking amazing little um, Uh, needle. It's so nice. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Where's my pattern? Oh no, my pattern fell so far away. <sighs> I'm gonna have to cut this out because I'm wearing pajamas. No, I'm gonna have to <clears throat> let 
Let me figure this out. Give me a second. My daughter. She always leaves the bathroom door open. Okay. Hopefully you guys aren't blurry. It doesn't look like it. I can't really see you. We're going to start. Um, I don't know. Let me see if you can I put my pattern here. You can see part of the pattern, but I've done it in a way that you can't see a whole lot of it. I do also have the entire thing covered. I'm actually using a grime guard this time. I made this grime guard, so don't ask me where I got it. <laughs> um, I also have my fabric on the wrong side, facing out this way, so if I do get it dirty, this is the back. And I'm also stitching this in 32 count Silvery Moon Lugana. Um, I believe it's a Wisholt, um fabric. And we're gonna get started, except I know this is my center, but I don't know what's the center stitch. Hold on. 